maybe the most impressive win to me might have come uh, in Knoxville today because Tennessee beat a really good Texas team that's been uh, terrific for the most part since Rodney Terry took over. They beat him by double figures. Tennessee is one of those teams that, again, you look at them, they're, they're number one, I, I think, in, in Ken Palm. They're number two in the net. But they've only got three quad one wins before today. I, I'm not completely sold as Tennessee is like a number one seed even right now, even after this Texas win, they're going to be, you know what the, cause... you know what the, my biggest concern with them is who, who is your go-to guy, right? Who do you, when you need a bucket in a close game, who are you going to? Like, I, 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 I don't, I, don't, want... I, I love Zakai Ziegler. Don't get me wrong. Right. I love, I love what the kid brings, but he's five foot nine. Right. Yes. Santiago yes. Vescovi is a really good player, really good shooter, great complimentary piece. Is he your go to guy? I don't know. Josiah Jordan James, like you want him to be your three and D guy. You don't want him to be your leading score, your best player, the guy that you isolate. Julian Phillips, like that's who we wanted it to be coming into the season, but either he hasn't proven it to Rick Barnes or Rick Barnes doesn't trust him or whatever he's it is. Like ready. they're not, yeah, they're not, yeah, he's not ready. Now, the interesting thing is. About three games ago, and 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 Matt, I want I want to I want to pick your brain on this. Three games ago, they changed their lineup a little bit. They did something similar to what Kentucky did. Yurosh Plavšić came out of their starting lineup. Um, I think it was injury related, but they started. They moved uh, Ziegler back in, so they basically went four guards with Olivier and Kamwa at the five, and he's been terrific since then. He was terrific tonight, twenty-seven, eight, three Ooh. assists, and. It's opened everything up because he's a guy that can step out and knock down a shot. So all of a sudden, there's a little bit more driving lanes. All of a sudden, things get a little bit easier offensively. And they're still not really giving up anything on the defensive end. Like the 71 Texas got tonight was one of the best performances anyone's got against Tennessee this season. So how when you have a tweak like that, like how much can that impact? Like what's how does that one come about? And two, like what? What does that impact the team when you when you change starters in the middle of the year? Well, I think again, if you're talking about winning a championship, everybody's got to be okay with it. This is the best mm-hmm. thing for our team. This is the best thing for our team. Playing Como at the five is the best thing for our team, and everybody else has to be okay with that. If you're not okay with that, then you're not about winning. Bottom line, right? Um, I mean, Zakai Ziegler was unbelievable. What did he end up with today? Twenty two and ten. Yeah. He, was nice. um, he just made the right play. I, I don't know what it is, why, and, and I, I kind of feel the same way in terms of Tennessee. Do I think they can get to a Final Four? I don't know. I, it's almost like, like what, like, what are we? All, we're, we're all feel like we're like missing something when it well, comes to Well, because Barnes that. hasn't done it. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just like uh, you know they they're not. But uh, you know they go out tonight and they pound. Yes. Texas on the offense or on the glass, they're plus 14 on the glass. You know, Texas did not play well. You know, their uh, starters were two for 11 from three. Marcus Carr is one for six. I mean, one, it's hard to win in general. Two, it's impossible to win on the road with those kind of numbers. But it's just like we're like, we, we're like waiting to see Tennessee get to the tournament, right? Like, could they win the SEC? Yes. Did they finish ahead of Alabama? I don't know. Maybe. But all right, what happens come tournament time? Can they get to the Final Four? Is it because Barnes hasn't done it at Tennessee? Maybe that's like all of our hiccups. I don't know. I, I mean, but they're just, I mean, they're winning games. And they're, they are you know, outside of the Kentucky loss at home. They're which, not just winning, man. They're kicking people's they're asses. They're kicking, yes. And I, I think the Kentucky game, it was like, hey, this guy's out, that guy's out. Oh, man, we're going to be fine today. We're playing at home. By the way, we talk about environments in the SEC. Thompson Bowling Arena, man. That, they fill it up. They and it is huge, huge, huge. There aren't many huge. places that are there that are big. There are not many places yeah, in yeah. the SEC that are that big. All and, right, and I have a qu- I have a question for Matt. I have a question for Matt. Uh-oh. What? Here we go. Quick, what would quick. we have to do? What would we have to do? What name the bet? What does the bet have to be to get you to come on here and sing Rocky Top? What does the bet have to no, be? Oh, you can't get to 